All right. Shalom, shalom. I want to give all praise to Abinawi, Yahweh, Bashem, Mashiach, Yahweh, Shah. Peace and blessings to all the beloved ones in the name of the Most High, who is glorious, Holy Son. Today, man, I got two quick scriptures, man. And I just want to bring these two quick scriptures out. You know, basically showing that um, the Ten Commandments are still valid. The Ten Commandments are still valid in the New Covenant, in the New Testament. And um, just because the Lord showed the thief on the cross grace don't mean now you can just go steal and just steal from every goddamn body, beloved one. Okay? The Most High was showing mercy. And that's what the New Testament is about. It's not about uh, breaking the commandments. It's about the Most High showing you mercy, man. Right? And I want to show that, uh, <clears throat> that the Ten Commandments are still valid in the New Testament. Right? The New Covenant. This is uh, Matthew chapter 19, verse uh, 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So you had Jake asking Hamashiach the question and asking how can he get eternal life? Let's see what, what the Mashiach says. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. That is God. But if, but if thou, if thou will enter into life, keep the commandments, man. So Hamashiach Yahushua, he said to keep the commandments, man. He didn't say, well, brother, you know, just have faith alone and and sin willfully, right? Which Hamashiach he can uh he can you know pardon whoever sins he wants to, right? Just like the Heavenly Father, right? But um. He said, keep the commandments, man. And we know that like the beloved one of uh, Paul, he said that Hamashiach Yahushai was a minister of the circumcision. So Hamashiach taught circumcision, beloved one. Okay? He taught circumcision. Okay, so that's, that's what he said. If you will enter in the life, keep the commandments, man. Now, one second. Let's see if I can find that verse. Where uh, Paul Paul said Hamashiach was a minister of the circumcision, so that means Hamashiach taught the law. He didn't teach uh, to be willfully sin sin. He taught grace to sinners, right? But he didn't tell them to continue sin. Just like the woman caught in adultery, he told her to go and sin no more, and he told other people that, man. So he wasn't telling people to you know sin willfully, okay? Minister, he was a minister of the uh, circumcision. Let's see, what, I know it's in uh, the covenant. Circumcision. All right. Which I believe this is either in Romans or Corinthians. Which I, just a second, let me find it. All right, because Hamashiach was a minister of circumcision. Let me see if I can find that real quick. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's Romans 15. Let me grab that real quick. Romans chapter 15. I knew it was Romans or Corinthians. This is Romans chapter uh, 15, verse 8. Romans chapter 15, verse 8, beloved ones. Romans 15 and 8. Now I say that Jesus Christ. Right, was a minister of the circumcision for the truth of God, man. Right? We know that the law is the truth that came from the Heavenly Father, right? To confirm the promises made unto the fathers, which the, the, the promises were made in the law, man. Made in the book of Genesis and Deuteronomy and Leviticus, man. In Numbers, right? Now I say that Jesus Christ, from Mashiach Yahushua, was a minister of the circumcision for the truth of God to confirm the promises made unto the fathers. Right? So Hamashiach taught circumcision. Now let's go back to Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. But if if thou will enter into life, keep the commandments. So Hamasha is telling him to keep the commandments, man. Right? He saith unto him, which? 
right? Which commandments are you talking about? A good master, right? It said, Jesus, Hamashiach said, Thou shalt do no murder, right? That's in the Ten Commandments. Thou shalt do no murder, right? Thou shalt not commit adultery, that's the Ten Commandments. Thou shalt not steal, which is a part of the Ten Commandments. Thou shalt not for, uh, bear false witness. Also in the Ten Commandments, man. Honor thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, man. So the Ten Commandments is still valid in the New Testament, man. Okay? Well, my child can say, well, brother, don't worry about none of that. Right? Because I'm just teaching grace, so don't even worry about that. Nah, bro. He said, if you were in the light, keep the commandments, man. He didn't say, don't, uh, don't, don't worry about that, Ak. Don't worry about the Ten Commandments, Ak. Right? Exodus chapter 20. I'm oh, sorry, the verse. Uh, uh, let's see what I'm saying. Verse uh, 12. Honor thy father, thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Exodus 20 and 13. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness. That's what Hamashiach Yahushua just quoted in the New Testament. That's why I say, don't think that I come to destroy the law. Romans 15 and 8, Mashiach Yahusha was the minister of the circumcision. Okay? The only one that was mainly teaching the, uh, the, uh, the doctrine of uncircumcision and the gospel of uncircumcision was mainly Paul and uh, Peter a little bit, and James a little bit. Mainly, they mainly was teaching the circumcision, right? But they did teach the gospel of uncircumcision as well, which was the grace. Right? This is uh, Matthew, which, which is the doctrine basically that's taught amongst the Israelite Gentiles. Okay? Is the grace. Right? Matthew chapter 19, verse uh, 18, he saith unto him, which Hamashiach said, Thou shalt do no murder, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, honor thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. So that's the commandments. That's that's Part of the Ten Commandments and the other commandments, man. Let's keep it going. Okay? The young man saith unto him, All these things have I kept from my youth up, but like God. So the little guy was acting like he was keeping the commandments like a wicked Pharisee, basically exhorting himself like he, uh, you know, like he was uh, basically unblemished, man. Which this guy was claiming to keep the commandments, but what, what was it? He wasn't doing it in him, so he still. You know, fought, uh, was falling off, man. So you can act like you keep the commandments as well, but you gotta have faith in Hamashiach, man, for eternal life. Right? That's why Yahamashiach you know, told this guy that, uh, you know, it's hard for the rich man to get into the kingdom because the rich man, he didn't want to follow Hamashiach. He wanted to follow his riches. Right? There's nothing wrong with riches, right? If you're following the Most High and His Son, right? The scriptures tell you, um, the hand of the diligent shall be made rich. So, if you have a diligent hand, you're, that's supposed to lead to uh, riches, man, abundance, right? Spiritually, okay? Physically, man. Okay? Being consistent. So, you know, being diligent is not a bad thing, right? And he said the hand of the diligent make it rich. But this this guy was he was so damn rich that he didn't want to follow Hamashiach, man. Right? What it says, he says, uh, if thou will be perfect, go and sell that thou hast, and give to the poor that thou have treasure in heaven, and come follow me. So the dude didn't want to follow Hamashiach, man. And he didn't want to help his brothers out. A lot of brothers, a lot of Israelites that got that bag, that got the wallets, they sitting on money letting other money rust under a goddamn rock, right? And this brother's down bad, they need help. And, and brothers got abundance and don't help brothers. Or don't even teach brothers methods to uh, have abundance and, and, um, and things of that nature, right? So they can take care of themselves and have more leisure time, right? So Hamashiach well, told this dude, follow him, man. But when the young man heard that saying, he went away sorrowful, 
again, great possessions. Then said my shot unto his disciples, Verily, verily, I say unto you, that a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of heaven. Why? Because they don't want to follow Hamashiach. You know, you're filling yourself too much. Now let's get another scripture where the beloved one Paul was showing that uh, the Ten Commandments are still valid in the New Testament, mingled with grace though. Mingled with grace now, beloved ones, okay? We pouring up, we pouring up grace, man. All right? It's mingled with grace. I don't mean it's done away with. It's just mingled with grace now, baby. <laughs> Let's get that in Romans. Romans chapter 13, verse 8. Oh, no man anything but to love one another. But he that loveth one uh, another hath fulfilled the law. Right? So this is this is these are acts of love. For this thou shalt not commit adultery. So if you love your beloved one, you ain't gonna slime him out and commit adultery on him, right? Thou shalt not kill. You ain't gonna kill your brother. You ain't gonna slime him out, right? Thou shalt not steal, right? Scamming your brothers and sisters, man, and uh, making fake Facebook pages and acting like you're from Africa, trying to slime people out of, uh, you know, donations and and uh, offerings and uh, you know, a little little bit of money and all that. And people make it with a uh, fake GoFundMe pages, right? You ain't supposed to be stealing from the beloved ones, man. Right? Let's keep it going. Thou shalt not bear false witness, right? Lying on somebody when you didn't even witness it yourself and making up uh, narratives on people. This is all Ten Commandments, man. This ain't got away with. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Thou shalt not covet. And if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, thou shalt love the book, thy neighbor as thyself. Love worketh no evil to his neighbor. Right? So you ain't going to slime your neighbor out if you walk in love, beloved ones. You ain't going to uh, rob him, commit adultery. You're not going to break the Ten Commandments walking in love, huh? Right? Now there's brothers that have done those things and had those spirits on them, but Hamashiach Yahweh can take those spirits off of you and he can forgive you, man. If you repent, right, and it confess the Son of God. So let's keep it going. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor, therefore love is a fulfilling of the law. So that's talking about Ten Commandments, and it's talking about love. So if you really love your brother and sisters, you ain't going to be doing ill to them, man. And this is in the New Testament, man, and the Old Covenant, and the law. Right? That's not done away with. Not that I come to destroy the laws of Shawar. So 